Morning folks, this is Jason Good with The Good Life Outdoors. First day of rifle season for white-tailed deer here in the Texas Hill Country, and I'm excited. Uh, you know, I love bow hunting. It's, uh, it's always a good way of getting out the first of the season, but I gotta say, I really enjoy rifle hunting too. Be able to get to see a little further out, um, a lot more moving around. So, about to head out to the blind right now. Um, nice chilly morning out here in November. And I hope you'll follow along. Looks like it's going to be a good weekend and looking forward to hopefully putting something on the ground, putting some meat in the freezer and going from there. So y'all follow along and we'll see what happens. Well, it was kind of a slow morning. Didn't see a whole lot. Had a, a doe and fawn that I've been seeing come out kind of at first light. And then had one good sized buck uh, walk by, but didn't really get much of a chance to look at him. He was just kind of on a mission and didn't stop to give me a look. But uh, they're out there. I heard a lot of, uh, heard a lot of shots off in the distance. So people were seeing stuff and shooting at stuff this morning. Um, I'm going back in for little food and then and come back out for the afternoon and evening hunt and see what happens then. Well, walking back out for the afternoon hunt. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more this time. Do enjoy being up in the, uh, in the larger blind where I can, uh, see around a little bit more so that's always a, a good thing so follow along see what happens A big, big pig just walked out and I shot him. He hit the ground like they usually do when you shoot them and kind of rolled around a little bit. Didn't think much of it. And he kept rolling around. Next thing I know, he got back up, started running. Shot another bullet at him and I don't think I hit him that second time. But he was obviously hurting. He went into the woods and I heard him crashing through the woods, but... That was weird. He hit the ground like I hit him well. So really strange that, um, that it ran off like that. So I'm going to go down there and see if I can find some blood or figure out what's going on. Big, big pig. Um, I'm a little concerned about going in after him um, until much later to make sure he's dead because I don't want to face him if he's wounded and angry. So I'm going to go down there and see what I can find. 
All right, there's the first blood. He kind of kind of struggled around over here. Now, there's not a whole lot of blood with this. This is where he kind of fell and where he kind of flopped around. Now he got up and ran this way. I did find some blood over here. But it's a ways over. I'm trying to find it here. There we go. Some blood right there. That's a pretty good amount. But then looking at where he ran, I'm not seeing any more until way over here. And this is the last blood I could find. Now he went over here towards these trees. And I think I can see where he went. There's a broken broken stick over here. But I'm not seeing any blood. I really feel a lot better about having a blood trail to follow as opposed to just broken things. Now I could hear him crashing through the brush. So I went back and got my sidearm. And I've got that strapped on just in case. I'm going to go into these trees and see what I can see. So, wish me luck. Yeah, I don't know, folks. I know he went into the woods somewhere around in here. I have kind of gone through there and haven't been able to find a clear trail. And I certainly haven't been able to find any more blood. So, I don't know. I'm disappointed. This is... Uh, it was a weird one. I mean, it looked like a nice clean hit. He dropped in his tracks. Um, but he was a big, big pig. I mean, they're tough. And who knows? Maybe, I don't know. I, I can't even speculate at this point. But I'm disappointed. I'd love to be able to recover him. And kind of second guessing my shooting now. I'm usually a pretty good shot. And I don't know. Not sure why he's not just on the road dead. So I may give another quick look in the morning just to see if I can see something in the daylight. But I'm gonna call this. Uh, I'm gonna call the search off and go from here. So we move on. All right, it's Sunday morning. This is the last uh, hunt of this weekend for me before I head back to Rockport. Still a little disappointed I couldn't find that pig last night. Just kind of kept playing that over in my mind and not sure what happened there. But go look while it's daylight and just see if I can see anything new. Otherwise, I'm going to see if anything steps out this morning. It's kind of cloudy today. It's been clear the last couple of times we've hunted. So maybe that will change things around. Let's so follow along and we'll see what happens. Well, it sounds like my dad got a real big buck. So that's a good start of the morning. I heard the shot and he texted me that he had him down right there so that's uh that's pretty awesome he's been uh, a little frustrated this weekend because the cow's been messing up his hunting so i'm glad he got some redemption there so i'm gonna go check that out here in a little bit see if i can help load him up Well, I'm a little disappointed right now. I just took a shot on a young buck. I'm fairly certain it was the same buck that I took a shot at during bow season who ducked the string. I thought I saw a mark, could have been a scar. Uh, I missed. I don't know how, it was a pretty short, easy shot. But, yeah, ran off, no blood. The way he ran, didn't look like he was hit. So, I'm extremely disappointed right now. And I'm not sure now, is it me? Is it my gun? Is it my scope? And that's where I lost confidence. You know, when I shot that pig last night, he should have dropped. And while he did drop, I, I hit him, his blood, he got up and ran off, which where I was aiming shouldn't have happened. So I'm wondering 
if it's possible that my equipment is off. Now I won't, uh, I won't uh, not blame myself if that, that's the case, but I do need to prove that out. So I need to uh, take my gun to the range and, and see how it's shooting because this is uh, not, the, not what I had in mind. Um, and that's really disappointing. So I'm heading over right now to help my dad load up his deer. So we at least have some meat on the ground and I'm happy for him on that. And then I'll be uh, certainly taking taking my rifle to the range as a kind of a first step before I go hunting again because I got to make sure that it's shooting exactly the way I need it to. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Well, we looked a little bit more for both the deer and the pig. Didn't find anything. Um, There's a lot of good blood for the pig and just didn't, uh, didn't ever find anything after he went into the trees, uh, which is disappointing. The deer, I think, was just a clean miss and it's, uh, it's unusual. Uh, that gun shoots really well. It's been, uh, been an awesome weapon for me. Uh, I'm not dismissing any error that may have been on my part, but um, I usually have quite a bit of confidence in that gun. Um, and that was a fairly close range shot. So um, yeah, it's just a, it's kind of a weird thing. I'm gonna take it to a range and, and just kind of see what's going on with it and maybe the scope, um, who knows? So I'll keep you posted on that one. But overall, it's been a good weekend. You know, my, even with all of that, um, you know, my dad got his big deer and he's excited about that. I'm happy for him. It's a lot of good meat for him. You know, with, with hunting, you, you take the good with the bad and you enjoy the good. Um, and you know, I, this is not a super polished video that shows you just the good stuff that happens. It's a, uh, it's a little bit of everything. And, uh, I want to be able to show that with y'all, share that with y'all. Um, as you know, hunting is not always successful, uh, but it's always a good time. So appreciate you following along. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. You want to see more videos? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.